Tonight at 11, there's a cash reward for information about five kittens stolen from a shelter in Hampton. Good evening, I'm Anita Blanton. And I'm Tom Shad. Some of the cats nursed back to health were just days away from being adopted. Then to your sides, Joe Fisher is here now with the shelter's plea for help. Joe? Well, Tom and Anita, the Cat Corner is a nonprofit no kill shelter in Phoebus. And tonight they have a question, which is why? Why would someone or perhaps a group of people not only break into their place, but then steal five cats right from their cages? The cats are safe here. From the outside looking in, it's a happy place. That we do a lot of due diligence in trying to find them the right homes. But inside the Cat's Corner, Hi, baby. You miss your sisters. There's empty cages and heartbreak from the shelter manager. It's kind of a sick feeling because we don't know where they are. The cages were already open when a volunteer showed up Monday morning. Marsha, Lapis, Ashley, Emerald, and Diamond were all gone. I don't think they, they realize how much we really care about the cats. Tiffany Young says the suspects came in through this side window. There was actually footprints. And hoisted the cats out in two cat carriers. It happened sometime between 6 p.m. Sunday night and 9.30 this morning. It's very suspicious. Young says four of the five kittens were just about ready for adoption, some to be given as Christmas gifts. We're going to have a lot of upset families finding out that the kitten that they thought was going to be part of their family is gone. The nonprofit shelter and its 30 volunteers care for about 60 cats, oftentimes nursing them back to health. Some of the stolen kittens were bottle fed, others are in need of medication. We just go out of our way for these cats and to kind of get that feeling where they, something, something's taken from us, it really, it really hurts. Young believes the kittens were stolen to either be resold or given as Christmas gifts. Now she's hoping for a Christmas miracle. We just want them to come back here and we won't ask any questions. We just want them back. No questions asked. The cats are microchipped, so there is a chance they'll be identified if they're turned over to a local shelter. Meanwhile, police dusted for fingerprints, but so far no suspects. They're offering a reward for information up to $1,000, and the cat corner is trying to raise even more money to increase that reward. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.